Hey guys, good morning, this is Harris. Uh, guys, I'm back as promised that I'm going to be reviewing this IFI um, headphone amp DAC unit. So let's get started. I will cover all the important things. I will skip on a few things, but if you have questions, uh, feel free to let me know or feel free to contact IFI and they'll be able to help you out and I can help you out to the best of my abilities as well. Um, so the unit comes in this box here. Um, it's a nice box, nothing too fancy. It just has branding on the front, on the side. On the back, there's some important information and um, on this side here, some features that the unit supports. <clears throat> now, IFI does a very good job of getting you started. They provide you uh, with everything that you need to hook up this, either with a phone uh, with your computer or either with a within a different amplifier or or a different headphone amplifier if you choose you don't want to use the built-in unit so props to them they give you all the USB cables RCA cables 3.5 to 3.5 cable they give you an optical cable and they give you a headphone conversion jack as well from it goes from uh, 1 fourth to 1 eighth so from the larger to the smaller one uh, let's take a look at the unit here. This is the front of the unit. I'm just going to bring it close. Uh, on the front here, you have your volume knob. This is also your power button. X is your power switch. Here you have your X space and 3D holographic uh, crap. I don't use it because, again, I think uh, if it colors the sound, it's not. You're hearing added things and... Um, if it's not meant to be heard that way, you know, it's not meant to be heard that way. I mean, keep your music neutral and flat, and I think it's most enjoyable form of music. Um, between those two uh, switches here, you have the 3.5 millimeter um, headphone input for your um, devices that don't support USB connectivity. And here you have your headphone output. And again, they provide you with a jack to go from one eight to one, one four to one eight if you, um, if you prefer. On the backhand side here, we again have a few more inputs. You have your um, SPDIF input. It can also be configured as an output. You have your RCA outputs. Again, if you want to connect this with another amplifier, you use those. And you have your USB input that um, you can buy special cables to plug in your phone with or your uh, mobile player with. That's actually what I use, this input here. So it works great. Now, what makes this unit a uh, really good value and uh, why do I think it's maybe the best best DAC and headphone amplifier, portable headphone amplifier available? Now, first of all, uh, the unit retails for $4.99. And the other thing that I guess you can, uh, you can say comes close to it is uh, ODAC. And uh, the build quality, I've seen the build quality of the ODAC, and again, it's a very functional unit, works really well, but the build quality of this unit is on a very, on a much higher scale. Secondly, you get all the cables, you get maybe eight or five, eight, eight different accessories to get started. So, they did, again, IFA did a very well job of providing with everything to get started, and I don't believe ODAC comes with any of those extra, extra cables. They're in the box, again, I don't have them, um, you know, I don't have them out here, but they give you a lot of cables. And portability, I mean, this is, again, it's not a small unit, but it's portable. I couldn't, you know, I mean, I would look silly carrying it in my pocket all the time, but it's easy to take it from my home office to my uh, workspace or to school and get it set up and ready to go. So I love that about this unit here. <clears throat> Now let's go over some of the DAC uh, features that this um, uh, that this unit is uh, you know this this unit has I guess you can say so the DAC is a Burr Brown chip I'm not sure who the manufacturer is I don't know if it's a Texas Instrument or ESS I'm not sure you can look up the DAC spec sheet and it will basically tell you all the all the input and output details uh, again if you're electrical engineering engineering student or electrical engineer you would find that information pretty easily. <clears throat> so the DAC, um, uh, the DAC is a Burr Brown DAC, again, again, not the highest quality DAC, but it's implemented very well here. It sounds great. It sounds accurate. Um, it's fast. Uh, by fast, what I mean is, uh, well, let's forget what I mean by, by that is, but uh, it's accurate. 
it is punchy um, but fast I guess you can say it's punchy and very clean sounding so I like that about this unit and um, it sounds good on a variety of headphones it's not like the DAC is picky on one set of headphones or the other um, you know I have headphones from uh, Philips L2 to hi fi Man HE560, LCDX86 um, and the DAC does a very good job of working well with all of those headphones so that's that's great I, I love it uh, does a very good job uh, also the DAC will play all kinds of files uh, this unit has some crazy specifications if you look at the box here it says you know it'll do DST up to 512 I bet uh, that's a scaling so I think that's a 8x DST scaling uh, it will do DXD 2x. It will do PCM 32 bits 768 kilohertz. That's crazy. I don't even know if anybody would be able to tell the difference between you know a 96,000 or even 44 to like 768 kilohertz. That's crazy. And obviously USB DAC head amp. <clears throat> so the DAC is very good. It it will play anything that you have now and anything that will any high resolution files that you might have down the road. So, props to IFI, very good implementation, very good sounding. Um, let's go to the headphone section. Again, as I mentioned, the headphone section is probably the best. Why? I'll tell you. Because you have your O2 DAC. Some people look at it as a portable unit. I don't think it's very portable. But again, it's in the same category as this guy here. And it's about 260 So uh, with the DAC and the headphone app. So um, I know that O2 will do... 600 milliwatts at 32 ohms and I and I am very confident as the as the resistance goes higher that uh, power rating will drop uh, significantly but this thing on the other hand this is a true powerhouse I mean you see this red switch here now this is a gain level this basically adjusts your voltage gain so where I have it right now, this is the Eco mode. At Eco mode, it does 250 milliwatts at um, 16 ohms. Uh, decent. If you switch it to the second uh, position there, then it is normal mode. It will do 1 watt at 16 ohms. And if you move it all the way to the right hand side, now this is at the turbo mode and the turbo mode gives it a phenomenal phenomenal 4 watt at 16 ohms so this thing has no problem driving planners no problem driving IEMs um, those things so I mean I mean this is a powerhouse powerhouse true powerhouse um, if you need more information because this unit will do a lot more than what I'm just going over I just wanted to show people that this is a value proposition um, and because I don't think this unit is very popular so you know I think a lot of people jump for the O2 but I think this is maybe a better bang for your buck you know the the housing here is all metal very nice housing the finish is great no sharp edges nothing of that nature also if you lose your box and if you don't read the manual you can flip around the unit and there we go you have some very important information about the unit here to get you started. Um, see these rubber feet on the bottom? They actually come with the unit as well. Uh, you have to obviously place them and I think the, my placement is not the best. I think they're off. Uh, so yeah. And on this side here you have your uh, device charger. So since it's a mobile unit you can even charge your other devices with this. Um, the DAC and AMP, ha they have a 4800 milliamp hour battery bank, so you can use that if you have any reserve battery or charge, you can use it to uh, charge other devices with it. Uh, now one more thing I would like to add, I've also used this with an external stereo amplifier. You know, I have a Parasound 8 ca 3500 amplifier and this thing sounds well sounds good with that too so um yeah this thing is a is, it's a great DAC I think it's a great great budget option for somebody who wants to just get started and wants to buy their first uh head portable headphone amplifier DAC this is a solid option uh I picked mine up from amazon.com for $4.99 I've seen them on eBay go for you know $630 even $700 so 
Um, obviously, I think the more you pay, the value proposition gets smaller. So what you want to do is you want to look this up. If you can't find it on Amazon or eBay, look it up on HeadFi.com. I've seen some being sold there for 380 and I think for 380 this is a steal. You cannot go wrong with this unit here. And um, just to show you what I'm comparing this against, I have a couple of other units that I have sitting here. So that's a GADS Labs, the Element, um, good amplifier in utero. I still prefer uh, this thing here. Oh yeah, this is a balanced headphone. Uh, this is a single-ended headphone amplifier in case you're wondering. And then on the bottom here, if you see, I have my LCDX, my HE560, and here is a Oppo HA1. This is a balanced headphone amplifier. Again, very clean, very, very good, but, you know, as you can see, it's not portable. It's 15 pounds, and, uh, but this is a phenomenal piece of equipment. I mean, again, this thing for $1,200, this is, again, another value uh, you can consider this a value proposition for a desktop headphone amplifier. Very capable and very, very accurate and a lot of inputs. So it's a, it's a, it's a very good headphone amplifier as well. But uh, for portable, I think uh, people really need to look at the iFi Micro IDST. I, th I think um, this is a great product and iFi did a very good job of, of making this unit. So uh, thank you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but yep, keep in mind you will not be disappointed with this unit. Thank you guys.